Hi everyone, we're back. Welcome to day two of Vuma's launch week. We started the day yesterday with improvements to our auto quote, where we released tools that allow brokers to bid on and autonomously win uh, more spot freight. And so now for day two, we are excited to launch our scheduling agent, Vuma Schedule, an AI agent that can represent a broker and go out and secure appointment times and negotiate appointment times with just a couple of clicks from the broker. As you guys know, today brokers probably schedule 50 plus percent of their appointments over email and it's a cumbersome process of going into the TMS, creating templates, pulling out dates, times and PO numbers, following up, forgetting to follow up, forgetting to confirm appointments, missing the appointment that they asked for, rescheduling dozens, sometimes hundreds of times per day or week. With Vuma's scheduling agent, a broker can go into their TMS, select the times they want, and with a couple of clicks, fire off an agent to do all of that work for them. So let's dive in and see what that looks like. So this is the load that we just won yesterday. We have extracted and built this and sent the data into the TMS. So I'm going to follow that through here. I'm showing this on Turbo. Turbo is a wonderful partner of ours. We are integrated with other TMS platforms as well. So now I'm going to come in and select my desired appointment time. So here I want a March 2nd 8 a.m. pickup. This is at Jacobson Warehouse. So I'm going to reach out to appointments.jw at Gmail. And I'm looking for a March 6th appointment here and I want a, let's say a 9 a.m. delivery time. I'm gonna go ahead and save those appointments here. Now, all I need to do to dispatch these agents is fire up the Vuma Chrome extension on the right here and hit schedule pickup, schedule delivery. Now that has gone and just kicked off two agents to go out and secure these appointment times. So we can take a look at this first one here, a pickup request for PO. So you can see that it's taken control of my Jesse's inbox and has reached out to this facility. We've set up a simulation here. So the facility is gonna rep be represented by another agent who is gonna act as the scheduling manager at this facility. Similarly, we have gone and kicked off a request here for a delivery appointment. So we can go ahead and follow these through and it looks like we've just started receiving responses. So let's start here looking at the pickup. Looks like earliest time that was available is 2 p.m. Eastern. And my AI worker is pushing back because 2 p.m. doesn't work. And we're trying to get something earlier in the day between 7 and 11. And it looks like they can work us in at 11.30. All of this conversation here, I have full visibility in on into because it's happening right inside my inbox as a rep. So it looks like we just got that first appointment time and we should expect that to be updated into the TMS. Now let's take a look at this delivery appointment. And it looks like Hank Mardukas has been unable to locate the PO in our system. So let's take a look here. The AI agent has said, I'm gonna check with my team about the PO to get back to you shortly. The AI agent knows that it needs support here because it doesn't know what the PO number is. If we come into Teams, the AI has sent me a Teams notification saying that the warehouse can't locate PO number in their system. Can you verify that it's the correct one? And I know just looking at this that, hang on, I screwed up the number. PO is actually this, I'm gonna fire it off. And now the AI is gonna be able to take that PO and continue to go finish scheduling that appointment. So it looks like we are on the move here. And great, the correct PO is this number. Can we lock in the 9 a.m. appointment time that we requested? And let's see. Great, looks like we got the appointment time that we wanted. So now I can come in, looks like everything's been complete. 
refresh, and as you can see, we have now confirmed the 11.30 and the 9 a.m. appointment time all happening fully autonomously. So you can see here that these AI workers act as extensions of my team, kicking out for exceptions and help where they're needed, but very easy for me to give them guidance to get them back on track to automate what is otherwise a pretty cumbersome and error-prone process. Let us know what you think.